Night time! Day time! Night time! Day time! Night time! Night time! Day time! Welcome to Good Cam Hunting guys and thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be checking out the Z Vision DN303. Right, let's get straight into it. The DN303 is sold as a hunter's pack, which includes your DN303 torch, dual charger pack with wall and car adapter, two 18650 batteries, a rat tail switch, or as I like to call it, a tactical switch, and a figure eight scope mounting clamp. First things first, let's review some of the specs and features of this torch. The weight of the DN303 is 450 grams, just shy of a pound at 15.8 ounces. Now, a lot of guys probably aren't going to think about the weight when it comes to buying a torch, but me particularly, I'm walking around on foot for most of my evening, so every bit of weight that I have in my rifle counts. This torch has three different chips built into it, which are easily accessible from a fast dial switch off to the side of the lens at the front of the torch. They give us a white light, a red light, and an infrared 850 light. The on-off switch at the butt of the torch also doubles as an intensity adjustment dial, giving us complete control of the intensity output of the torch at any given time, allowing us to crank it right up to its maximum output and right down to its lowest output. The lens on this torch is also adjustable, allowing us to dial it right into a focus beam for when we're spotting at longer distances and allowing us to widen that beam to a floodlight so when we're walking around and spotting at closer distances we have a wider field of view. Next item in the kit we have the rat tail switch. The rat tail switch is a press on press off switch which also doubles as an intensity adjustment dial the same as the um, standard interface on the butt of the torch. I personally don't use these switches but I do prefer the style and make of this one over a different switch that I have on a different model of torch which I'm sure you can all guess what that is. Um, simply because that switch you have to press on and hold your finger on to keep the torch on. This switch also comes with a velcro sticky back that you can stick onto the stock of your rifle. If you don't want to ruin your stock by sticking this onto it, you also have the option of an elastic band so you can slip it on and also change it between your different rifles. Last item in the kit is the figure 8 scope clamp. I've used this particular clamp on my rifles in the past and though I have nothing wrong with it, I decided to upgrade to the Z-Vision TWM LP clamp with adjustable windage and elevation for this particular torch. Not only does it have the windage and elevation adjustment dials so I can better align the center of the beam up with my rifle, but it also has a Picatinny rail clamp on the underside of it for quick and easy change between rifles and setups. Now let's get into the more technical side of things. Over the last couple of months while I've had this torch, I've conducted three tests to get an average life expectancy out of each battery while the torch is running on its maximum output. Z-Vision state for this particular product that you're looking at a minimum run time of two and a half hours over the three different lights that are inside the torch. For the first test, I simply just turned the torch on, put a timer next to it and left it to its own devices. After two and a half hours, the torch was still going, but at that two and a half hour mark, you could really see the intensity of the beam drop off at that last 10 minutes before it completely fizzled out at two hours and 42 minutes. With the second test, I wasn't only going for runtime, but I was also looking to see how the intensity of the torch dimmed over those two and a half hours. It was about an hour into this test that I realized I'd made a bit of a balls up because all I'd done was turn the torch on and aimed it at a wall that was about 300 mil away. This didn't give me any real sort of indication as to how the intensity dimmed, but it was towards that two and a half hour mark, you could definitely see that the uh, intensity of the beam had dropped. So for the third test, I got my wits about me and set the torch up just outside my front door, aiming it at some pine trees that were 60 meters away from my house. Given that the weather wasn't the best for this particular experiment, given the harsh winds and rain, you can see at the start of the test, the torch was going strong. At an hour, the intensity had dropped slightly and maintained that intensity to the two hour, two hour and two and a half hour mark. Even after that two and a half hour mark, guys, you could really see the beam start to die out until it fizzled out like a candle on its last legs. At the end of all three tests, two and a half hours was definitely my average of usable run time for, per battery for this torch. Don't forget, this kit comes with two 18650 batteries. It only runs on one battery at a time, so that gives you a minimum of five hours run time out of this one torch. 
Now, the moment you've all been waiting for, let's get into some field footage where I test out the visibility and range of the three different light modes in the Z-Vision DN303. First up, let's check out the white light. Now, I've had a bit of a technical issue this time around, so what I've done to overcome it is I've recorded what's actually on the scope using my Samsung Galaxy Note 9 looking through the objective lens and then compared it to what's exported from the scope to my computer. This gives you a better idea as to how good the torch really is. Sure, the footage doesn't do it justice, so this time around you're just going to have to take my word for it when I say that the white light on this torch is quite impressive. Moving on to the red light now. Now, the red light in this torch was one of the reasons why I purchased it, and it has not let me down. The red light in this is absolutely insane. It's clean, it's crisp, and it's incredibly bright. The field of view and the range that I'm getting out of this torch easily out to 450 to 500 meters, as you'll be able to see in some of this footage, where I've got a kangaroo at the tip of a hill that I've ranged at 400 meters away. It's clear as day. Now again, the footage just does not do this torch any justice, but you can clearly see compared to the white light before that this light is absolutely insane. Finally flicking over to the infrared light. Now I haven't used any other infrared torches in the past to be able to compare it to anything else other than the infrared light that's in the Maganon night vision goggles. But I must say I'm very impressed with it. It completely blew me away and it's such a game changer when it comes to night hunting. As you can see, I've done another little bit of a test here so you can range the distance that you're getting out of it um, in the field of view. Uh, so hopefully this will, you'll be able to compare to anything else that you're currently running. But this is just such an awesome light. And to say the least, I'm just simply impressed. Wrapping up now guys with my final thoughts on the DN303. Look. I bought this torch originally with the intention of utilizing its red chip and its IR chip. Now, previously I'd been using a red filter on my other torch, and the second you put that filter on it, it completely kills the output of the torch from where you'd see visibly out to 400 meters down to 50 to 100 meters. The red chip in this torch, I've easily been able to identify a target out to 450, possibly even 500 meters. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get any eye shine from this torch beyond 350 meters this time around, but Z-Vision say that you can expect eye shine out to 900 meters, and honestly, from what I've seen of it, I wouldn't put it past it. I'm relatively new when it comes to night vision hunting. I have been using my father-in-law's Maginon night vision goggles in the past, and the IR torch in those particular goggles is absolutely crap. The second I started running the IR 850 chip out of this torch with those goggles, I was completely blown away. My field of view went from a couple of hundred meters out to five, seven hundred meters easy. I've also been able to utilize the IR 850 chip to its full potential through the Sightmark Wraith HD that Chris Lewis from CR Lewis Contracting has been so generous to let me borrow for a period of time. The DN303 retails for $325 and it can be purchased from any firearms dealer that deals with Eagle Eye hunting gear. Alternatively, it can also be purchased online through Eagle Eye Hunting Gear and also Fox Dog Outfitters. Thanks again for tuning in guys, I hope I've answered all your questions. If I haven't, please feel free to drop me a line through Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. I'm more than willing to help out where I can. If you enjoyed this review guys, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for any and all future reviews. As always guys, my name's Cam, thanks for tuning in to Good Cam Hunting and you'll see me again soon. Cheers.